Okay, what I'm going to show you here today is a pretty tricky knot. Um, it's called a bowling on a bite. A lot of guys like to use it to pull trucks out of the ditch, pull their big trucks out of the ditch, and have a knot that's still um, easy to untie when they're done after you put tons and tons of pressure on it. So you could start anywhere in the middle of a rope if you'd like. Um, what I've got here, I've just made a loop and a rope. Here's the end here. I'm just going to come on down six, eight feet to get started. I'm just going to grab your rope, double your rope up like this. I'm going to come up with about four feet of rope or so. So I got about three, four feet hanging down here. I'm going to make your classic loop as if we're tying a bowling. All right, so what we've got is our rope coming around and it's laying on top of here for our classic bowling loop. We've got our classic rabbit head. Here's the end of the rope right here. I'm going to come up through the bottom side of the rabbit's head, through the bottom side. Once I get here, that's as far as I'm going with it, okay? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick my head, my hand through this loop, okay? And I'm going to grab these two ropes right here that are hanging down. Where'd those two ropes come from? Well, they came from making this, putting this loop up through the rabbit's head, okay? As you can see here, pull this up through here. And I'm going to stick my hand through and grab these two ropes. Now, what's going to happen here with this rope that my hand is through, once you take these two right here that I've got in my hand, it's going to, you're going to take it and just make it fall down to the very top of the rabbit's head. Okay, here it is up here. I've got it with my finger. So as we start to pull, the two ends you want to pull is this end coming out of the bottom of your knot and the, your left hand, the, where the two ropes are that you've been holding the entire time. You're gonna pull those tight, okay? Now, this is what it should look like right here, close up view. If you're bowling on a bite, doesn't look like this. If this hasn't cinched up right behind, right behind here, then it's not gonna hold properly. And what's gonna happen is that knot is gonna slip and it's gonna tighten up on you where you can't get it back out. The tricky part of of the bowling on the bite is, is getting it to cinch up properly and making it look like this. Now what we'll do here is untie it. That's a pretty tricky part too. Um, a lot of guys get confused on untying it. You can just take it, you know, once you break it free, if, it, if it's super tight, you just roll it just like you would a classic bowling. You can roll it. You just push it up through here like this. Then you just make sure everything comes through. That knot you just made, okay? And what happens is, you just untie it like that. Okay, so we'll do it again. So we got about four foot. I've got about four foot here. Make our classic rabbit head. We've got our tail here. We're gonna come up through the bottom of the rabbit's head. Just leave it lay, just like that. Now you're just gonna put your hand through. You're gonna grab those two ropes, that loop you just created, and pull it through. Now watch, see this end right here? I'm gonna grab it with my finger and I'm gonna pull it down so you can see which one it is. This is this one right here. That's gotta come all the way to the top, okay? That's kinda what it's looking like. It, it's looking something similar, but it needs to tighten up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this right here and tighten it right up, just like that. All right? Tighten it right up into your classic bowling. Now see how the knot's cinched? This rope right here cinched right around the back side of this. If it doesn't cinch there, it will not hold. So just remember that. If it doesn't look like this, and if when you pull on this, you can pull on this, if it, if it didn't cinch properly, it'll start to slide like a running bowling. All right? But I can pull on it and pull on it right now. Pull and pull, and it's not sliding. So that's the one thing you gotta look for. You gotta make sure that it cinches down properly right here. So good luck with this knot. Practice with it before you use it. And uh, you can pull the world out and be able to untie it right after you're done.